Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be dealing with a radical expression. We are given x minus 3 times the square root of x is equal to 1. And we're supposed to evaluate x squared plus 1 over x squared. In this case, we want x to be a real number. So we're going to be paying attention to that. And I'll be presenting two methods. Let's start with the first one. For the first method, I'm going to solve the quadratic, I mean, did I say quadratic? Radical, I meant radical, but you get the idea. I'm going to solve the radical equation. So this is my equation, and I'm going to use substitution. So let's go ahead and call square root of x t. So we can write this as t squared minus 3t minus 1 equals 0. This is a quadratic equation. One thing to be careful about is x needs to be greater or equal to 0, and t needs to be greater than or equal to 0 because we said that x is going to be a real number. So x is greater or equal to 0, t is greater or equal to 0. Under those conditions, I can just go ahead and solve this using the quadratic formula. And that's going to give me negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 9, minus 4ac. That's going to be a plus 4, and that is going to be a 13, and all of that is divided by 2. Awesome. So t can take two values either 3 plus root 13 over 2 or 3 minus root 13 over 2. But unfortunately, 3 is less than square root of 13 because 3 is square root of 9. So this is a negative quantity, and remember, we want t to be greater or equal to 0. Therefore, we're going to reject the second solution. So we're only going to go with one solution, which is good. That is the only t value that works. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to find the x value from here. Since we have the t value, t is equal to 3 plus root 13 over 2. And remember, x and t are related. We said that square root of x is equal to t. If x and t are both positive, then we can safely say that x equals t squared. Since we're looking for x, let's go ahead and square this radical expression. 3 plus root 13 over 2, I'm going to square that. And to square that, I'll just square the numerator, right? 9 plus, you know, their product is going to be, or I can just square root, uh, I can square the square root, plus 6 root 13 over 4. And now this can be written as 22 plus 6 root 13 over 4, but I, I can divide everything by 2 and write this as 11 plus 3 root 13 over 2. So that's going to be my x value. But remember, we are trying to evaluate something else. We need to evaluate x squared plus 1 over x squared. But I have the x value, so I can easily find x squared from here. I just need to square this expression one more time. And I know this first method kind of like very brute forcey, but, you know, sometimes you don't have an option and you just use it. Anyways, I just want to introduce multiple methods. So now you, from here, you're going to get the following. 111 squared, 121. 9 times 13, that is going to be... 9 times 13 is what? 117, right? And then their product is just going to be 3 times 31 times square root of 13 times 2. That is going to give us 66 root 13. All right? And we're going to add it all together. Let's go ahead and do that and divide by 4. Obviously, one more time we can simplify this, but let me show my work first. So when you add these two numbers up, you're going to get 2... 38 plus 66 root 13 over 4. This is x squared. Let's go ahead and simplify. Divide everything by 2. That You're going to get 119 plus 33 root 13 divided by 2. Now, let me give you 1 over x squared real quick, but here's what you're supposed to do. You just flip the fraction, and i got to tell you something here, a secret. When you multiply this by the conjugate, when you multiply this by the conjugate, you're going to get a 1 at the bottom. Why? From difference of 2 squares. Actually, not a 1, but a 4. So anyways, so here's what happens. When you multiply these, you're going to get a 4. They're going to cancel out. We're going to end up with a 2. So here's a, uh, to keep a long story short, x squared and 1 over x squared are just conjugates. Make sense? Okay. So this is my 1 over x squared, that's my x squared, and I'm going to add those together. Let's go ahead and do it, x squared plus 1 over x squared. I'm just going to add 119 plus 33 root 13 over 2, plus 119 minus 33 root 13 over 2. And when I add these up, 
33 root 13 is going to cancel out. I'm going to have 119 plus 119, which is 2 times 119, divided by 2 is just going to be 119. And that's going to be our answer. And this brings us to the end of the first method. And let's go ahead and talk about the second method now. My first method is a little brute force C. So for my second method, we're going to do something smarter. X minus 1 is equal to 3 squared. Of. By the way, I just wanted to add a real quick remark here. Uh, remember how we solved the quadratic here? You could also do the following. You could just isolate 3 root x and then square both sides, and you could solve the quadratic equation that way too. Same thing. No big deal. Now, for the second method, here's what we're going to do. We're going to divide by square root of x. Why are we doing it? It's going to become clear in a little bit. Of course, x does not equal 0. You know that, right? If x is equal to 0, it's not going to work. So we're going to divide both sides by square root of x, and good things will happen. First of all, we'll get rid of the radical on the right-hand side. And second, we're going to have a nice expression when we separate these. Let's go ahead and split it up. x over root x minus 1 over root x equals 3. But what is x divided by square root of x? If you don't know what it is, just multiply it by conjugates, and you're going to get x here, and you're going to end up with square root of x. So it's square root of x because you're dividing a number by its square root, or you're dividing the square of a number by the number, so you get the number. I hope you, that makes sense. So this is square root of x minus 1 over square root of x equals 3. What am I supposed to find? x squared plus 1 over x squared. Let's go ahead and square both sides. Okay. If I square both sides, I'm going to get something nice. I, a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. You know the story, right? Minus, the good thing about these kinds of expressions is 2ab, the square root of x cancels out, so we just end up with a minus 2 which is really cool, right? And that is 9. Add 2 to both sides, you get x plus 1 over x, which is cool, but I do need x squared plus 1 over x squared, so let's go ahead and square one more time. And that gives me the following. Same method, same thing. 11 squared is equal to 121. Subtract 2 from both sides, Surprise, we get the same answer. Shouldn't be a surprise, right? All right, great, awesome. So we got the same answer, which is really cool. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Keep up the good work. And until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.